Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. Welcome to the Arbab Niaz Stadium, Shahi Bagh in Peshawar, where the first test match of the current series between Sri Lanka and Pakistan is about to commence. This is the first time that an official test match is being held on this ground and this is the only second time that a test match is being staged in Peshawar. The last one was almost 40 years ago on the services ground between India and Pakistan in 1954-55. The two teams, first the Pakistan side who are batting and in presumable batting order that has been given to us, it's Amir Sohail, Saeed Anwar, Ramiz Raja, the captain of the Pakistan side, the 18th captain to uh, lead Pakistan in test matches, Ramiz Raja making a comeback. So best of luck to Ramiz and his men. Shoaib also back at number four and then Inzimam ul -Haq. Ejaz Jr. making his debut, becoming the 133rd test cricketer to represent Pakistan. Moin Khan, the wicketkeeper, Wasim Akram, Waqar Yunus, Aqib Javed, and another debutant, Saklan Mushtaq, the off-spinner. He becomes the 134th cricketer to play in tests for Pakistan. The Sri Lankan side, Roshan Mahanama, Chandika Hathura Singhe, Asanka Guru Sina, Sanjeeva Ranatunga, Arjuna Ranatunga, the captain, Hashan Tilaka Ratna, Dunu Singhe, a wicket keeper, Chaminda Vas, the left arm fast bowler, Vikrama Singhe, the right arm fast bowler, Mudaya Murli Dharan, the right arm off spinner, and Pushpa Kumara. It is now time for play to begin and to join our commentary team. Let's go to the central commentary position and to my colleague Shahzad Humayun. That's a nice looking shot. That's the first ball of the morning and of the match. Very nicely played. Pass the bowler on the offside down to long off the four. A very fine shot. It was slightly over pitch. And uh, you see, slightly over pitch. And that gave uh, the batsman. Uh, the right move to play front foot drive, effortless and uh, very productive indeed. At Peshawar, I'm told about three days ago the weather was quite fine. What really happens when people come the home and things become fairly warm and humid? Pushpa Kumara. That's a lovely shot. Beautifully played. Well placed. With the extra cover boundary, Aldrich signals the four, and Pakistan go on to 54, which Said Anwar now 25. Said Anwar seems to have uh, overfished ball, and Said Anwar came to line and uh, drove it beautifully towards the coverage. Absolutely on the ground, the first last uh, cricketing shot for youngsters towards. timed it so well. Pushpa Kumara again to Said Anwar. 54 for no loss, Pakistan. That's a good delivery. And that is where the is mistake. The ball hung up for a while, as you see. The ball bounced a little more than the batsman expected. In fact, you, you've been Watching our transmission, the initials of the boss given were UCJ. In fact, he has two more. It should be WPUJC. And I know some of my friends may not like it, but I must give it to you. It's Varnakula Surya Matabedinge Ushanta Joseph Chaminda Vas. Looks like three, four names in one. It's five. <laughs> it's six, including the Vas. He's bowling to Amir Sohail. And Amir Sohail has gone, fourth behind. So Pakistan have lost their first wicket. This is a very fine delivery. Just on the good length, move away from Amir Sohail. And the batsman failed to judge the movement of the delivery. Took the outer edge. And that's how he lost his uh, wicket. A good delivery, 
Vaas has indeed been trying hard. A very fine bowler who moves the ball both ways, not getting much chance to get. Pakistan have got four opening batsmen in their 11. One of them is on your screens at the moment. Ramit Raja, the captain, walking out. And one is to follow, Shoaib Muhammad. And there's Sayyid Anwar there, and one just gone into the pavilion, Ahmed Suhail. Raja in his 49th test match for Pakistan. That's the dismissal of Amir. He's a bit hesitant as well, Amir. A cramp for space. Good delivery. Caught by Dunu Singer behind the stumps. Didn't move, as you will see now. That Amir Suhail. You see, he didn't take a step towards the movement of the ball. It was much later than he tried to move. And that is where he was committed and lost the line of the ball and the and the ball took the outer end. 2243 runs for Ramiz Raja in test matches at 30.72 he's facing Vaas. Clips that one away off his toes towards one leg he gets the single goes off the mark Pushpa Kumar of the field. Pakistan winning the toss batting after 14 overs 65 for one. Right, so I think the bowler, Vikram Singh, Kumara, and Vas. I think Vas, the left hand medium fast bowler, seems to be doing a good job, trying hard, and moving the ball both ways on a wicket which is least helpful to the base bowler. And therefore, the batsmen do not find much difficulty provided they read the movement of the ball correctly. Pushpa Kumara to Sayyid Anwar, starting the 15th over. And Sayyid Anwar gets him away very nicely, down towards deep mid-wicket. There's going to be a close race. And he got to that ball, and then I think he... I think he tripped, yes, he tripped. I think the, probably the two feet. So you see Vikram Singer chasing the ball, and it seems as if he'll get to it. And there he trips. As we have already told you, this is the first time an official test match is being played on this ground. for LBW. Rather the superest from Vikram Singh joined in probably as an afterthought by Dono Singh and Ramachandra in the slips. Well, uh, let's see. Well, the ball pitched on the leg side and moving away, certainly missing the leg stump. And by Mehboob Shah quite definitely saying no. It's going to be the right-handed Raja to face Vikram Singh. Lovely drive. Regally played, wide of extra cover to the boundary, four runs. Not out for 45. Amir is the only batsman out for 28 of a good ball from Shaminda Vaz. And Ramiz is not out for 17. Hathura Singhe to Said Anwar and he cuts and cuts well. That's a delightful stroke. It's going all the way down. Beautiful. Waited for that ball and laid back and cut it very fine between where the third slip would have been in Kali. Went for four. A very large crowd here at uh, the Bardnia Stadium. Shower. It's a little. Warm now, a little more warm since the morning. After a single to Said Anwar. And once again, the score and waits for the ball to make contact, drives it down the third man, and that's his 50. Said Anwar 50, Romiz 17 of the house Pakistan are 110. He must be a very happy man, Said Anwar 50, under a lot of pressure. Quite a lot of it's self-imposed because he hasn't got too many runs recently and 
Today he played very well. Curbed his natural tendency and played a quiet innings. Started with seven fours, of course, and he's 50 not out. This time he comes down the wicket and plays it uh, to Arjuna Ranatunga, and that's the end of Saidan. As we were saying, he's made a 50. He just lost his wicket, came down the track, and drove it hard into the mid off region, short mid off. And uh, Arjuna Ranatunga made no mistake, went straight to hand, traveling at a quick pace. And there it is once again. Well, he tried to take it at half body, but tried to reach it there. And when he executed that in wide the ball went into the air. And that was a very clever placing of a fielder there because. This was one of the way to entice uh, Saitanwa, and that is where he fell into the trap. Once you couldn't make the volley or half volley, then it is better to hold your shot. But Saitanwa, having had scored 50, it was rather adventurous on his part, and that is where he paid the penalty for it. This is the kind of wicket that you can get 100 uh, on against a bowling which really is not top class, and Saitanwa must be kicking himself all the way back to the pavilion having stayed at the wicket for such a long time. And uh, the Sri Lankans must be very happy to get rid of Said Anwar. Second wicket has fallen at 102 for one, and in comes uh, the big man for Pakistan in Zamamul Haq. So 102 for the loss of two wickets, Pakistan, 27 overs gone. Pakistan won the toss this morning. Ramiz Raja, the 18th captain for the Pakistan official side in test matches. Making a comeback, it's Chaminda Vlas bowling to Inzimam ul Haq. Swan's gone down towards deep fine leg. Four runs. Inzimam, I thought they're moving just a bit across. Ball of pitch, middle leg stem, move a little bit outside the leg stem, and uh, Inzimam moved across and play, played a very fine shot. Leg stump, he moved a ball across on the offside, played a very fine shot on the fine leg, very fine deflection. Duno Singhe, the Sri Lankan wicketkeeper, being given preference over Kalu Vitharana. And it's Murli Dharan. That's an appeal for a catch by Guru Sena. We asked Selim it off. Amused, umpire Aldrich quite firm in declining that appeal. That ball turned a bit, pitch outside the after. Zimam tried to play on the front foot, hit his pad, and probably the appeal could be that ball hit first pad and then bat. But I think it was just state ball of the pad. Arjuna Ranatunga, the lone survivor in the Sri Lankan side of the team which played the first ever test match by Sri Lanka in 1981-82. He was a teenage school boy. He's come a long way since that. He's in his 57th test match. Vast to Inzimam, down towards the long on side. It's going over the line, four runs. Umpire Mehboob Shah signals the boundary. has been a very fine shot by Zaman, very well timed, ball pitch up to the bat, played on the front foot, the timing was so good that there was no chance for the fielder and went to four. In Zaman will hug. not out 12, it's 118 for two, 30 overs now gone. Raja not out 21. Last batsman out for 50 was Saidan. Vas to Raja. That's a nice shot. Off the front foot. Placed well. Going down towards the extra cover boundary. It's going to be a close finish. Now it crosses the line. Beats the fielder. Four runs to the Pakistan captain. Ramesh Raja is very pleased with himself. He's playing under pressure that he's a new captain playing after a long time very fine shot pitch outside the after he made a room for it and played in cover 
an extra cover. Very well timed shot. Murli Dharan again to Inzima. Driven wide of the field, a bit of misfielding there. He got a hand to it, juggled with it a bit. And the batsman take two. Tall and burly Inzamam recovering from a knee injury. And if anything, he's put on more weight. Two men close to the bat on either side of the wicket, Selimidon and Selimidoff. That's once an inquiry for a catch. Inzamam is abused and umpire Aldrich chews harder. Brian Aldrich from New Zealand is the third country umpire. It's a similar type of appeal which was done before. And Zimam tried to play on the front foot, hit his bat and to the fielder. And of course umpire smiled it very well. Rami is facing Murlidharan. Tries to sweep that one. He got a touch going down towards the deep fine leg boundary. Four more to the Pakistan captain. Umpire Aldridge signals the boundary. As we were saying, he's the third country umpire, the ICC umpire from New Zealand. He's going to officiate in this test match and the third one at Sialkot. In Zimam is very strong on the leg side. Anything pitching middle and leg stump, he make a room and play on the leg side. The Sri Lankan bowling, Vas 1 for 47 of 13 and Udhidharan Dharan 1 for 18 of 11. And no wickets for Vikrama Singh, Pushpa Kumara and Hathura Singh. Udhidharan Dharan continuing. In Zimam using his feet there, plays it onto the onside, goes away towards deep mid wicket. Four more runs to Inzamam Mulhak. saw the flight of the ball he uses his feet very well and played on the mid wicket high and very well timed shot again facing up to the off spinner once again there using his feet came down and then checked his stroke at the last moment played it out there's an appeal for a run out Disallowed by umpire Mehbub Shah. Dhanushan in fact, still appealing. Both uh, Inzamam and Ramiz Raj are very notorious for not only getting themselves run out, but getting their partners run out as well. So they must be extra careful. It has been known for them. They are very slow runners between the wicket. The main thing is that they have no understanding. It's a good throw. But Ramesh Raja was home. But I feel both of them have to have a good understanding. He played the shot, the flighted one, and he checked his shot and played on the offside for one. They haven't played together for a long time. Strike now. Inzima facing up to Vikramasinghe. That runs cracked, square of the wicket going down towards the deep point boundary. Four more to Inzima Mulhak. By Mehboob Shah signals the boundary. Very fine looking shot, pitching, ball pitching outside the off term. His imam making a room and playing between point and extra cover. A very well timed shot from him. Very hot and humid afternoon here at Peshawar. And you can notice that both umpires are not wearing their white coats. Appeal for LBW. That ball probably going down the leg side. Zimam al takes a little walk and I think now receiving some instructions from his captain. 
good partnership between Inzimam and his captain Ramiz Raja. Pakistan in a good position, having lost only two wickets. Raja and Inzimam ul Haq building up their third wicket partnership. Pakistan having lost their openers, Amir and Sayyid Anwar. And this time Raja comes out, lofts him over the bowler's head, down to the side screen at the other end, four runs. And Ramiz Raja coming here under double pressure, Naseem, as a batsman making a comeback and also the pressures of captaincy. He's doing a fine job. Well, definitely after playing uh, after two years uh, cap, he's had a lot of pressure as a batsman as well as a captain. But I think he's done extremely good job because he has won the toss and he's batting extremely well with confidence, which is the main important thing. Raja cuts towards deep back foot point was chasing it there's going to be a close finish the ball wins four more runs to Ramiz Raja and that certificate for Ramiz Raja coming from Naseem Ul Ghani who if you might recall is the former chairman of the Pakistan selection committee well we have seen him uh, playing a lot of time he's been a very fine player and he's got a lot of runs for Pakistan and this shot particularly shows his confidence. He made a room for this particular shot. He leaned back, cut it with the ball was spinning and timed it very well. So it's very good effort from Jamiz Raja. Third wicket partnership now has yielded 54 runs in just 70 minutes. Ramiz Raja winning the toss this morning. It's the first thing he did as the captain of the new captain of Pakistan. Appeal for a stumping, half-hearted. I think uh, Duna Singh, they are not very serious. Well, that ball uh, turned, and uh, he moves his foot, the back foot. It shows the slowness of the pitch. Raja gets him away, this time through the covers. Roshan Mahanama, the former captain, Paul Sri Lanka, the fielder. Fleet-footed Roshan Mahanama, very fine opening batsman. And it's going to be Ramiz Raja facing Vikrama Singh. Gets him away, well fielded. Once again, Roshan Mahanama there, sprawling away towards his right. And bring him off a good save. Roshan Mahanama usually has his fingers bandaged, and you can see them there. Two or three fingers of the left hand, one of the right hand. Well, normally this is very unusual for a fielder. But he's a very fine fielder. Look at his dive. He has picked the ball from the bat and he dived with the direction of, uh, of the ball. So it's very, very good uh, for a good fielder who can judge the line of the ball. Very fine fielding side, the Sri Lankans, always alert. That ball nearly got through as Inzimam trying to sweep that. Not very far from the leg stump. Inzimam ul Haq and Ramiz Raja taking Pakistan to a comfortable position. Probably he was going to drag the ball into the leg stump. Uh, Zimam normally move very outside outside the off stump and make a room try to play on the leg side. Uh, but uh, the good thing about it uh, that he brings his foot in front of the ball. Pushpa Kumara to the Pakistan captain. Gets him away. That's a regal shot by Ramiz Raja. He dispatched it from his presence with almost a bit of contempt there. Good crowd today. It's a holiday, remember. Friday is a holiday in Pakistan, so the crowd has turned up to watch the Pakistanis batting. Again, very fine looking shot. Raja make a room back foot on the back foot. And the ball was pitched outside the off stump and very well-timed shot. The whole body was behind it, the, the pace of uh, the bat was there, and the eye was on the ball, so that was called a classical shot from a good player. It's 
now going to be in the Mamul Hub. All this looks as if he is uh, not happy with the position. He has a look, worried look on his face. He's facing Pushpa Kumara. There's an appeal for LBW. Umpire Mehboob Shah absolutely uninterested. In fact, he calls it an no. over. Well, Inzimam, as uh, he's been considered as a very fine player, he has got the qualities as a great player because he has got a lot of time to play and he plays the ball very well, he times the ball very well and this particular ball which was pitched outside just and came back a little bit but he was there behind of the ball. This is very important for any player who has got plenty of time. This is the 15th test match between the two countries. 14 test matches have been played so far between Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Pushpa Kumara to Inzimam down the leg side, well kept by Dono Singh. Little fellow, but uh, very quick, very agile. Dono Singh getting the nod over Kalu Vitharna as the wicket keeper. And uh, the Sri Lankan bowlers have toiled all day. And as you can see from their figures, uh, Naseem just two wickets, but they bowled well on this unhelpful pitch. It was Muli Dharam, the Austiner, has also bowled very well. He has got one for 33. He has bowled a very good line. He's turning the ball, but very slow. His pitch is not helping him. That one just probably didn't carry or he didn't get a touch. Uh, that ball remain in the air for just a little in the Mamul Hawk trying to play him on the offside he tried to use his feet on the seamers but he has missed the line completely hit his pad probably he could have dragged him to, into the stumps but he was lucky that the ball moved away from the off stump lovely shot by in Haq timed it beautifully passed the bowler four more runs to him and he doesn't look like putting any effort into his shots in Zimamul Haq he's so easy and uh, times them so well yes Chichi, I think this is the greatness of a player who can time the uh, ball very well and uh, just see that the shot the bowler was there under the ball but he could not gather because the pace of the ball was so fast Pushpa Kumara continuing and Inzimam once again this time driving Pushpa Kumara past the bowler to the boundary for four more runs. Guru Sina giving up the chase in the end. Inzimam will hop batting extremely well along with his captain Ramiz Raja. The two batsmen out, Saeed Anwar and Amir Sohail. Amir the first to go for 28 and Saeed for 50. It's Raja now going to face Pushpa Kumara. No ball and played out towards Vas, wide of mid on. The batsman settled for a single, and that is 50 for Ramiz Raja. Well played, Ramiz. Good comeback. He's batted under pressure, not only as a batsman, but also with the added responsibilities of a captain. As we said earlier, that he has two responsibilities to play. One is batting, and of course, second is the captaincy. He has proved uh, as a batsman. He has played very well, he has shown his confidence and he has played some excellent shots which is, shows that he is still in good plan. Inzimam gets that one away from Pushpa Kumara very effectively, very productively down to the deep mid-wicket boundary for four more runs. Inzimam will hop, going towards his 50 now if he gets to that 50 that will be his 10th 50 in test cricket that was a very fine shot from Zimam that was a little bit short outside the off stump he made a good room and played a very well timed shot to the mid wicket for four runs in Zimam's batting average is slightly over 48 runs per innings it's a very fine effort by in Zimam. this time a diving Ranatunga fails to save that ball it now crosses the line for four runs. Sanjeeva Ranatunga took most of the pace off, but that ball must have been hit very hard. 
because in spite of Sanjeeva getting a hand to it, that ball still carried to the boundary. Uh, it was an excellent shot by Ramesh. He has timed the shot very well, as you said, that even the fielder tried to stop it, but still the ball crossed the boundary line. A very well timed shot. Raja having completed his 50 and Inzamam nearing his, the Pakistani third wicket partnership flourishing. Inzamam gets that one away from Murli Dharan down to deep mid on. The batsman will settle for one. Inzamam not the fastest of runners in the game and also nursing a bad knee. He's recovered from it but he has to be careful. I saw it strapped this morning, fairly heavily strapped. Murli Dharan again to the Pakistan captain, who tries to get him away, this time of the inside part of the bat towards mid, uh, mid wicket. Yes, that's what he intended to do, to do, in fact. Probably that ball turned slightly more than Raja anticipated. Arjuna Ranatunga must be wanting a couple of more wickets before the end of play today. This time Raja gets him away, square of the wicket, beautiful shot, going down towards the boundary, four more. In spite of these boundaries, Naseem, uh, I feel the Pakistani players slightly bogged down, the rate of scoring a bit slow. Is it because of the pitch? Uh, well, of course, the pitch is very slow. It's difficult to get on with the shots. This particular shot was, the ball was pitched up to the batsman and Raja made a good room to play at the core point. But generally, when you have seen the outfield is very slow, the pitch is slow, so naturally the tendency will be on the slow side. However, the both players have to make their own positions, especially Ramiz Raja, who has come back, and he has to make sure that he stays at the wicket. And in all uh, fairness, the Sri Lankan bowlers have bowled well. They have bowled intelligently, they have bowled uh, according to the circumstances. That's the Pakistan balcony. Aqib Javed, Moin Khan, Waqar Yunus, all having a good rest. It's Hathura Singer to Raja. Tucked away, down to deep back foot square leg. Pushpa Kumara, the fielder, the batsman settled for a single. And also, I feel that uh, there would have been more runs on the scoreboard had these two run a bit faster and taken those singles. Uh, as you have said earlier, and we know both of them, they are very slow runners between the wicket. This one shows a good one, definitely. I think they heard us on that occasion. That was a well-judged run, I think. One hopes they get more. That's the scorecard. 65 overs now gone, 199 for two. Saidan and Amir Suhail, the two batsmen out. Raja not out 61. Inzimam not out 49. One short of his 10th 50 in Test cricket. The Sri Lankan bowling. Vikrama Singh and none for 42. Vas one for 47. Pushpa Kumar and none for 55. Murli Dharan one for 41. And Hathura Singhe no wickets for 13. He's bowled well. Hathura Singhe has kept the batsmen quiet. This time Inzaman trying to sweep. That ball popped up just a bit and a uh, good bit of sprinting by the wicket keeper. And he bowls his throwback. Well, that's a very good judgment by the wicket keeper because he was just picking up. And this is Inzaman 50, very fine 50. He has played extremely well. I believe that this guy is hungry for runs and he, whenever he goes to the bat, he looks for runs and he tries to get first 50 then then 100 and of course his uh, test record shows extremely good yes that's how Inzimam got his 50 51 runs seven boundaries is that going to be another one it's not it's fielded by the fielder at deep mid on or rather long and Inzimam settles for a single push Pakumara having been placed near the boundary line there. The score's not 20, it's 200 now. That next to zero will just go up. It's a manual scoreboard, so please bear with them.
played out and once again well fielded. No marks for guessing. Mahanama the fielder. The next batsman to come, that's Vikramasinghe's bowling figures. 13 overs and he's conceded 44 runs without taking wicket. That's the third wicket partnership out there in the middle. You can see Ramiz Raja and Inzamam. And the next man to come is Shoaib. So Pakistan have four openers in their side. Now what does that say from the selection point of view? Well, that's a good question. Of course, uh, if you recall, the Pakistan team has been struggling and the batting lineup has been very brittle. And of course, they have to introduce uh, new players as well as uh, the old players. And that's why they have selected well com combination. But again, as you said, uh, that they have got four openers. Of course, um, and if you recall uh, the West Indies tour in uh, England this, uh, this summer, um, Richardson was batting number one and number two and number three. So you, you have to make a team. At least, if nothing else, you can open your innings twice. Played out towards mid off. I think the crowd getting a bit restive. Now, there could be one possibility there is that uh, they've been brought up on one day cricket, so they haven't seen the other side batting as yet, and it's late in the afternoon. And uh, that's what happens when you have a gap of almost a generation and a half. Next ball driven, and it must have hurt. That was very firmly driven. So, after 41 years, they're watching a test match here. Well, of course, uh, cricket is not played there. As you said, 41 years has gone. Naturally, they have seen one-day cricket, which is played in uh, normal domestic cricket. And of course, they have to know the five days cricket, which is very important. Once again, a very effortless stroke by the Pakistan captain. Gets him another four runs. He's batting very well. This is the Raja we know. As you can see, that ball hit straight past the bowler. And in spite of the fact that Vikramasinghe probably got a hand and a boot, the ball still carried to the boundary. Four more runs to Ramis Raja. It's a mandatory 90 overs in the day, which means it's going to be more than six hours play because the Sri Lankans have been a bit slow in the bowling rate. Vikramasinghe to Raja. Driven, lovely shot. That bisected mid-off and extra cover. Going down towards the boundary, no stopping that one. Four more runs to Ramiz Raja. This particular shot was particularly played between the cap. Look at his feet. Both feet was in time and he made a room and played, executed a shot between mid off and extra cover. And superb shot from him. Again, though he was away from, uh, from the ball, but the timing of the ball was ex excellent. And that's very, 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 very good for a good player. Vikramasinghe once again to Rami. One day internationals that would have been called a wide. Pakistan captain going strong, he's facing Vikramasinghe. Wide outside the off stump, and in fact, an awkward bounce for the wicket keeper. He did well not to let that go. Got him on the forearm. So as we were saying, uh, Nasim Pakistan have batted well. The Sri Lankans have bowled their over rates slowly, and I don't think that they will be able to complete the 90 overs in the six hours. They might go into overtime, or we might have problems uh, with the light, which is usual in Peshawar. Yes, they have been very slow because they have uh, four seamers, and naturally seamers take longer time than the spinners. And they have been shot. This ball very outside the outstrom. It was good job done by the wicket keeper. And you can see the pace of the pitch. The ball was uh, not very high. The, it was slow of the pitch. I was just wondering that on this kind of wicket, probably they could have introduced two spinners instead of one. Swept by Inzamam towards deep square leg. 
Vikramasinghe, the fielder, the batsman settled for a single. Could that have been two? Well, I feel on, on a pitch like this one, which is very brown, and um, it seems that it's going to turn, and it's, it's been turning from the first ball go. So naturally, it was obvious to, to, to have two spinners, and both of the team do, uh, did not have uh, two spinners. Turned away once again towards square leg. 216 for two now, Pakistan. Must be quite satisfied with their day's work so far. Sri Lanka might want to wicket a two before the close of play. Raja thumps that one into the covers. Well stopped, or not quite stopped, but the pace taken off. Mahanama does the collection. That ball was travelling. Sri Lankans have fielded well in spite of uh, hot and oppressive conditions. They've always been on their toes, giving nothing away. The bowlers have stuck to their jobs and the fielders have supported them. Well, Sri Lankan uh, fielding has been extremely good. They are very agile on the field. Their pickup is very good. They have stopped a lot of runs on a bouncy outfield. Inzimam gets that one away from Vikramasinghe down to deep mid-wicket. And you can see in the background the spectators applauding rather half-heartedly. I think they're not completely with it. Well, this is your right. Uh, this uh, was a shot from Inzimam, pulled on the leg side, which went for four. Excellent shot. As you said about the crowd, naturally the people down there, I still feel they do not understand much about the cricket. They are still looking for one-day kind of cricket. Inzimam gets him, but straight to mid-wicket. Mehboob Shah calls it over. And it's 223 for the loss of two wickets, Pakistan. These two have added more than 100 for the third wicket partnership. And still going strong. Ramiz, Ramiz Raja to face Mutaya Murlidharan. He cut that against the spin down towards third man. Ball travelling will be cut off. And the batsmen go back for the second. You definitely have to have a good eye to cut a ball which is turning into you. But again, uh, as I said earlier, the, the pitch is very slow, so it gives a lot of time to, uh, to the batsman who can see the ball and cut it. But again, it's a very good performance from Murli Murlidharan again. That one tucked away onto the onside. Two men converging on it. Vas gets to it first. And the batsmen scamper home for a second as Vas's throw comes bouncing to the bouncy wicketkeeper. Guru Sena surveys the scene. Senior cricketer, Asanka Guru Sena. Charming personality. Thorough gentleman off, off the field. Great fighter on it. Inzimam now facing the off-spinner. It's almost a full toss. Inzimam tried to dispatch him to the onside. Probably just uh, got a, an edge or onto the pad. Two more runs to Pakistan. Shadows now lengthening, if I'm allowed to use a cliche. As the sun goes down towards the west. Also, I think, becoming slightly hazy, but that ball is crashed to the boundary for four. Mid-wicket conference between the third-wicket partnership, and that's the future cricketer for Pakistan. He is very alert and enjoying himself. And probably... Some years later, we'll say, I threw the ball back at Peshawar. Probably he might be doing the middle. Uh, it's a very fine shot for Zima. Again, he made a big room for to play that shot. He leaned back 
and uh, played in between the fielders and that's called a good quality shot from a good player. Vas to Raja who tries to pull him, that's up in the air, wide of mid on, Pushpa Kumara is going to catch it and that's the end of the Pakistan captain's innings. Vas strikes again, Pushpa Kumara taking that catch very competently at uh, running in from wide of mid on and Pakistan are now three down. Well, that was a good inning from Jameez Raja. This ball came a little bit quicker what uh, Raja expected and he mistimed it and gave a very easy catch. And again, it was a very fine inning from Ramiz Raja who has played after a long time to, to the test cricket. He has, um, being a captain, naturally he's got more responsibilities and he has shown that he's still a good player and uh, he has given a good start to the team and I hope that he, the other players will follow him. Next man in is also making a comeback. It's Shoaib Muhammad, and as we were talking earlier, he's the fourth opening batsman in the Pakistan side. They have Amir Sohail, Saeed Anwar, Ramiz Raja, and Shoaib Muhammad, who have all opened for Pakistan. That's the dismissal of the Pakistan captain. Vas has second wicket. Raja trying to pull that. It went in the air, wide of mid on, and a competent catch by Pushpa Kumara, much to the delight of his colleagues. And Raja knew that. You can see that he started off turning towards the right and going towards the pavilion rather than completing the run. So Pakistan lose their third wicket. Sri Lanka might want one more before the close of play, preferably two. Difficult to get this man out, Shoaib Muhammad, the son of Hanif Mohammed. Those of you of my vintage would remember Hanif as one of the most difficult men to get out. He has played the longest innings in Test history against the West Indies. That's Hanif Mohammed, Shoaib's father. An idea of the strength of the breeze by that flag, and then also there's a light problem. LBW, just allowed by umpire Mahbub Chawa. Was asking the question as Shoaib shuffled across. Umpire Mahbub Chawa, as you can see, without his coat. Good shot. Well, it was a good shot. That ball came, uh, pitched around the middle scrum, but uh, Shoaib was right forward, so benefit of doubt given to that one. Shoaib and Inzimamul Haq, the overnight batsman, will try to build the Pakistan total to somewhere near 450, 500 is what Ramiz Raja, when I spoke to him this morning, wanted. This one's gone down towards uh, long leg. The batsman take a single. Shoaib and Inzimam scrambling across. So, do you think 450, 500 would be a good total? Yes, I think they have must have been targeted themselves, uh, 450 minimum and plus will be a good target for them. It's 241 for three. Six runs added this morning. Shoaib facing the off spell. At once driven through the covers. That's going to cross the line now. Four runs to Shoaib Mohammed. Good shot. He got onto the pitch of that and drove it all along the ground through the covers. Four runs. For the excellent shot from Shaib. He has been using his feet now and uh, he's trying to play his shot more positively. And both excellent shot in the cover side for four runs. Shoaib Muhammad has a very healthy average in the test matches. He's 46.82. He's not out seven at the moment. 69 to Indomam, Pakistan. 81 overs gone, 245 for three. The new ball is now due, but I doubt yeah. if. Uh, Ranatunga will take it since Murli Dharan is in operation. But traveling down towards third man, stopping heavy outfield and uh, collected near the boundary line. The batsmen take two more. 
that particular ball didn't turn and uh, Fay was trying to play the turning and he got the outer edge. Two wickets for Vas, one for Murlima. And Vikrama Singhe, Pushpa Kumara and Hathura Singhe, wicketless. Arjuna Ranatunga would want to separate his partnership as quickly as possible. 2-5-9 for 3. Well kept. That one going down the leg side from Hathura Singhe and uh, Inzimam trying to play him on the on. And Duna Singhe moved very quickly towards his left to prevent any run. Well, wicket keeper has done an excellent job for Sri Lanka. His keeping uh, has been very good. His movement uh, excellent, especially driving on the left side, which is most difficult for any wicket keeper. According to the experts, there has been no real change in the wicket, the nature of the wicket, still playing uh, slowly, and there are still plenty of runs in it, according to them. Good shot there from Inzimam, made it look so effortless, travelling down towards the right screen. Guru Sina cuts it off. Oops, it almost got away. Second attempt, two more runs to Inzimam. Driven past the bowler, that's really travelling, will beat the fielder to the boundary, four more runs to Inzimam will have beautiful shot, well timed, made it look so easy. In never in any hurry, never worried. Well, I think the excellent about Inzimam, the timing of the ball, just pushing it and uh, there's a no time to even stop it. So it was excellent shot, straight drive from Inzimam. Vas again to Inzuma. Off the back foot, through the cover, that's going to travel to the boundary. No stopping that one. Beautiful shot. It was four runs from the moment it left Inzuma's bat. Perfectly timed, exquisitely played, and beautifully placed. Inzuma will have a full cry at the moment. Inzuma has got plenty of time to play his shots. Look at his footwork. He's gone lean back and but plenty of time to play in the cover side and exhibit extremely well. So it's the hard working Vikram Singh. Appeal for LBW, that ball going down the leg side. Shoaib trying to play him on the on, umpire Aldrich Python. Well, Shoaib tried to play on the leg side, the ball came back and naturally he was missing the leg stump idea of the strength of the breeze and a vantage point to watch the match from all the plenty of seats available. Ranatunga, the Sri Lankan captain, I think he must be now thinking of ways and means to dislodge this party. It is beginning to look ominous from the Sri Lankan point of view. 95 now in the mouth, five short of his hundred, that is 285 for the loss of three wickets. Vast to Inzuma. There's an appeal for LBW. That's going to be close. Yes, he's out. Umpire Mehbub Shah quite firm. A quick decision by him. Inzuma shuffling across, plumb in front. And Pakistan have lost their fourth wicket. It's 285 for four. Inzuma LBW to Vast for 57. 12 falls in that 57. He faced 216 deliveries and was at the wicket for 292 minutes. It was very unfortunate that ball came a little bit quicker what the mom expected and he was right in front and it is also unfortunate that he misses 195 he played excellent inning and uh, he's the man behind who has built up the inning for Pakistan. And the mom will have walks back as date for four. Was inquired and in fact implored. Quite unmoved. Shweb, I think, too much forward there. Umpire Mehbub Shah from Pakistan, the senior umpire. Well, normally, uh, the, uh, the umpires always watch where the best are playing. Normally, playing on the front foot, they always give benefit uh, of the doubt to the best 
veteran of 25 test matches at my hope job. Sure, I've placed that one towards the fine leg that crosses the line now. It's four more runs to Pakistan, four more runs to Shoaib Mahal. A fine shot from Shuhaib. He tried to slide it on the leg side and there was no feeler and he timed it very well. Excellent shot for me. Shoaib Muhammad, the picture of concentration. Choose a bit hard for Pakistan 292 for four. Ajaz Jr. making his debut facing Vikram Singh. Ajaz not really settled down as yet. He's obviously agile to Masing. Pushpakumar. Nice rhythm of drumming. Shoaib gets him away. That's a beautiful shot. Off his toes. All elegance. Down to the square leg boundary. Four runs. Head down, straight along the ground. Shoaib flips that one away off his toes once again. It's time final to the fine leg boundary. Four more runs to Shoaib, four more to Pakistan. In fact, contrary to expectation, Shoaib has been very fluent. Shoaib has been very strong on the leg side. Uh, most of the runs have been of his calibre. This one has gone away towards deep square leg, will be cut off. Sanjeeva Ranatunga making a lot of ground from fine leg to square leg. The batsman take two. Ten runs of three deliveries. So for Shoaib Mohammad. Silencing the critics who say that he is a very slow batsman. Well, he has approved his point here. He's a good player. He's got a lot of concentration. He plays his shot on and off the side. More use of the pad by Ajaz so far than the bat. Stretching forward there and uh, Vikram Singh hopped up and down a bit. So that the ball do not move into the pitch, into the wicket. Tucked away, straight to Jayasurya. Jayasurya, the 12th man, fielding in place of Athura Singh, who is off the field. That can take two as a result of overthrows. In fact, they're going to be four more. So five runs to show it, four coming as bonus. Offered by a very generous Mr. Jayasuri. Very fine thing for Jayasuri otherwise. But a good pickup. And uh, he just did not go in the right direction. But I think the wicketkeeper misjudged the bounce of it and then under his hand. 104 overs gone, 309 for four bucks. Shoaib not out, 36. And Ajaz Jr. not out, three. Mudaya Murlidhar into the attack. Swept. That's been settled for a single. Ajaz facing Murli Dharan. There's an appeal for a catch, and umpire Aldridge gives him out. Ajaz is gone, and Pakistan have lost their fifth wicket, the first after lunch. 318-5, Ajaz, fourth Guru Sina, bowled Murli Dharan for five. He faced 30 deliveries and was at the wicket for 52 minutes. Pakistan, 318 for five. Very unlucky for a young player who had just started the first test match and get out like this. He did not go very forward. He should have gone top of the ball so that he could cover that turning of the ball. So the only thing he needs to adjust his front foot so that the turn of the ball can be tied down. 
He doesn't show the draw hard from that. Show it more. more. That helmet has seen better days. Patched up. It was Simakram, fresh from Lancashire. The whole Pakistan form captain. In fact, there are five captains in this Pakistan side, former and present spectators. Making assurance, doubly sure he has a bandana and an umbrella. All might and main there from Pushpa Kumara, but wide outside the Austin and crashed through the covers for four. Wayward in direction. He lives for four and good shot. Murli Dharan to Vasimakra. Out he comes, away she goes, over the rope, four more rounds. Beautiful shot by Vasimakra. Timed it well, used his feet, came out. Nice round of applause from a fairly large crowd. Well, this is typical of left hand, they're using his feet, making a room for the offside to play extra cover. Very well timed shot. He's a tall guy. Square cut down to the boundary, four more runs to Shoaib Muhammad, and that's going to be his 50. Well played, Shoaib. Not out, 52. His 50 has taken him 148 minutes, and he's faced 101 deliveries. Then his 43rd test match for Pat Well, Shoaib must be happy after getting the four runs, completing the 50. It has been a good comeback for him. He was looking for this opportunity. He got it. And he got three runs. It's, good. it's very good for him. Perfectly balanced. That's how Schweig got his 50. The blue lines are the fours. He also has a five. Now on the 52. Empire Aldrich, the third country empire from New Zealand. Was he Makram once again? And Losing his feet, that must have hurt. That ball was traveling, firmly struck. But Murli Dharan is such an agile fielder, and particularly to his own bowling, dropped his right hand on it. it must have really stung. It must be a terrific blow by him. Very straight drive and very powerful. He timed it well and showed from his hand <laughs> that he has some pain there. Not much sympathy from Brian Aldrich. Down the leg side, Murli Dharan there trying the faster one. Akram trying to sweep him. Tilakaratna does the collection, the batsman get two more. Pakistan losing two wickets today, Inzimam before lunch and Ejaz after lunch. 3-3-4 three, three, for five. Now with 50 under his belt, welcome back to home. He's facing Pushpa Kumara. Mahanama in the slips. He's wearing a blue cap now and he has a white hat which he usually sports. Short, that's hooked away down towards deep square leg. Close finish between Sanjeeva Ranatunga and the ball. Sanjeeva wins the race. Good return, that was a no ball. Two more runs to Shweb, two more to Pakistan. Five wickets, the last two wickets today, three yesterday. There's a lot of time for the batsmen to play their shots, short of length. Plenty of time for Shreya to pull that ball to square leg for two. The good run up by the fielders, good pick up, and then a straight throw to the wicket keeper. Chaminda Vaz back into the attack, bowling to Shoeb, not out 57. The ball's in the air and it's caught by Ranatunga, and that is the sixth Pakistan wicket gone. Shoeb Mohammad out. Good catch by Ranatunga, held it over his head, and Vaz claims another wicket. Pakistan on 340 for six. Shoeb goes for 57. Six fours, one five. He faced 114 deliveries, 
was at the wicket for 166 minutes. It was an awkward uh, bounce, and uh, Shea played away from his body and gave a very simple catch to the early fielder. Uh, Shea has played extremely well for his 57. He has, since he has come back to Test cricket, he has done a great job playing in this Test match, and he's been performing previously. And it's a good start for him to look forward for another team test matches. Okay. All he has, bat and bat all together there. When in doubt, push out. Pakistan need to accelerate their rate of scoring. It's still not what uh, Ramiz Razi wants. He, if he wants those 500 odd runs on the board today, then Pakistan will need to fell to fear. Moin Khan doesn't have a 50 cricket, but he has a 100. 115 not out against the Australians in the Gaddafi Stadium level. Saved that match for Pakistan. 340 to 6. Moin Khan tries to drive that, the outside edge, over the third man rope, for four more runs for Pakistan. Hishan Tilakaratna. Moin facing Vaas, and this one's a lovely shot. Beautifully timed. And it's going to the extra cover boundary to four more runs. I think that's what would be advice given by Wasim Akram. Wasim Akram himself not able to really get going, but giving good advice to Moin. Well, this time Moin has come right in line of the ball, time it well played extra cover for four runs. Excellent shot from him. Roshan Mahanama. I think waiting for his turn. I'm sure he's here having a good look at the wicket. And it is a batsman's wicket. 118 overs now gone. 356 for six for this time. Akram 12 and Moin 12. And Moin 12 was just 15 deliveries. He's been pretty quick. I think batting under orders. Get on with the job. Pakistan need some more runs on the board before they can either declare or perhaps throw their wickets away if they've got enough runs. The determined Murli Dara. The left handed Pakistani over. Wasim Akram drives him and it's gone. Past the diving Hatura Singer down to the boundary. Not in a great deal of hurry there, Hathura Singer. Got up in slow motion. And Vasim Akram uses feet very well. Anything he sees in the air, he uses feet and drives it very perfectly where the ball is supposed to go. And this time he played this excellent shot in extra cover for four runs. Murli Dharan to Moin Khan. This one is lofted over the bowler's head. First bounce into the ropes at the far end. That's four more runs in the Pakistan wicket. Quite a contrast in Bill, the two batsmen. Short, uh, fragile Moin Khan. Tall and burly Vasim Akram. You have them both in your picture. Those are the figures of the hard-working Sri Lankan bowlers. Vast the pick of the bowling. 4 for 93. 26 servers, one made in Murli Dharan, now reaching the 100 mark, 2 for 102. Murli Dharan, the most uh, successful of the Sri Lankan bowlers in overall this cricket, has taken 63 wickets before he came to this test match. Hathura Singh. Vasim Akram's got him away. Lovely shot. The off drive. Full flow of the bat. The back, the high back lift. And the Back coming down very savagely onto the ball. Well, naturally, there's nothing for the seamers on this pitch, and batsmen taking all liberty to play the shots. And this time, Hasim Akram played excellent shot by using feet. And I'm sure that uh, Sri Lanka bowlers have done extremely well considering the pitch. It's not helping at all. They are just bowling a line and and, uh, and good length, 
this is what required on this pitch Purusena into the attack at last you wondering where whether Ramatunga had forgotten him Purusena has 18 wickets in this cricket the Purusena are doing a fine job there at the Bradman boundary sliding and preventing the ball in all fairness to the Sri Lankans full credit to them the bowlers have bowled intelligently they've bowled tireless, tirelessly and they've been well backed by their feet the Sri Lanka bowlers have done extremely well on a pitch like this this ball a little bit move away and uh, Muin Khan deflected towards the third, third man for one Hathura Singer now to Muin Khan and Muin Khan doesn't even bother to move because he knows it's four runs from the moment it left the bat Muin Khan has made his intentions quite clear under orders and he's going to use the long handle to get as many of them on the board in as quick a time as possible as Muin Khan would like to play short this ball pitching outside the after making a room play over top of the bowler or fielder and then perform uh, this is what required at the moment because they have to set a target for Sri Lanka another one from him similar kind of shot excellent well timed to extra cover for four nice round of applause for the dressing rooms on the top and the spectators sit beneath He shaved his mustache since returning from Georgia. Or he's including the captain. Quick run. Well judged. Well responded. And that is 50 for Moin Khan. Well played. Moin Khan, first 50 in test cricket. And it has come in quick time. He's got eight fours and just faced 69 deliveries. And he's been at the wicket for 18 minutes. A very fine 50 from Win Khan, who played extremely well. He likes to play his shot, and this particular one uh, is very quick and between the wicket. He's also very good runner between the wicket, and uh, he has good understanding with uh, the Makram. Well deserved T for the two batsmen. Pakistan 132 overs gone. They are 421 for six at T. 36 not out was he Makram. 50 not out. Pakistan at T were 421 for six of 132 overs. Akram 36 not out. Moin Khan 50 not out. Everyone's had a nice cuppa. Akram going to face. He's not out 36 and he's taken 70 deliveries. He's got five fours. He's been there just under two hours. 14 minutes. He's facing Murli Dharan. That's a dazzler. Brilliant catch by Murli Dharan. Wasim Akram is out and Pakistan have lost their seventh wicket. Akram brilliantly caught and bowled by Murli Dharan for 36. And Murli Dharan possibly taking revenge for that slight hurt which he received earlier on while trying to field and in fact fielding very scorching straight drive from Akram. Okay. Yes, it was a superb catch, very low down, well timed shot from Rati Makram and he dived with his right and he anticipated that shot but he was not anticipating that going to keep so low. So it case goes to a, a bowler who has anticipated and caught that ball while diving on his right side. It must be about six, six inches of the floor very useful 82 added for the seventh wicket by Moin Khan and Wasim Akram and added in quick time out comes another man who has captained Pakistan in test cricket Wakar Yunus and welcome back from he recovered now from his uh, back problem nice to see him back on the uh, field Wakar Yunus captain Pakistan against Zimbabwe the defense stadium in Karachi in the test match which Pakistan won Another look at the dismissal of Wasim Akram. 
look at his uh, plighted one. He dived on his right. He was watching his shot played by Vasim Akram and he was following his with the spin and with the flight. Excellent fielding. An excellent catch. Very low down. Must be about 3 inches above the ground. That's the point I was making. The Sri Lankans are great fighters. They never give up. At this stage of the match, probably a lesser mortal would have let that ball go. But Murli Dharan was all there. Diving, sprawling. And getting the prize wicket of Vasima A man in form. He has uh, had a very successful season with Lancashire in Pakistan on our 7 down for 422. That be, must be a satisfied Rana Tumraka, the captain of Sri Lanka. Was back. He's bowling to Moin Khan. Was the most successful of the Sri Lankan bowlers. A very promising cricketer. If he just adds probably another yard to his pace, he will be really menacing. Yes, he moved the ball both ways. He's got quicker of the pitch. Naturally, if you get more, a little bit another yard or two yards quicker, I'm sure he could be one of those great bowlers. So that's up in the air. Where is that gone? Up in the air at third man, Hatura Singha catches it, and Pakistan have lost their eighth wicket. The wicket keeper goes, Moin Khan, fourth by Hatura Singha. Off the bowling of Chaminda Vaz, who takes his fifth wicket, and this is the fourth time in test matches that he's taken five wickets in an innings. Moin out for 51. Very intelligent bowling by Vaz. He bowled this one outside the house, a little bit slower, and uh, Moin Khan could not time it well. Edge it very high, and a very good catch by the third man. Moin Khan walks back out to 51. He had eight fours and just was there for 90 minutes, 77 balls. A very quick 50 by Moin. Done a wonderful job for Pakistan. But then the Sri Lankan hitting back. As I told you, they are fighters. And in spite of that huge total and few wickets, they didn't lose heart. And they have now come right back into the game. Moin Khan climbs up those stairs into the dressing room. As out comes Akit Jan, third pace bowler for Pakistan, and this man just loves batting. In fact, he has great pretenses to be a batsman. Well, every fast bowler would like to bat, and this is normal when you see a fast bowler because um, their frustration can become out uh, by batting. And uh, in the past, we have seen a lot of players who have done a good job for their team. Akib facing Murli Dharan, the batsman having crossed over when Mohin Khan was being caught. And Akib gets a single, rounds the onside, Chaminda Vaz to keep. It's now going to be Vakar Yunus. He's going to face Mudaya Murli Dharan. Vakar hasn't scored it yet. He's got him away, high up in the air, and a brilliant catch by Mahanama there at deep mid-wicket. He had a lot of ground to cover, and in the end, a desperate dive, but he didn't let the ball go, and Pakistan lose their ninth wicket for 425. A brilliant effort by Mahanama. Once again, underlining my point, that the Sri Lankans always on their toes. What a brilliant catch Excellent by Manama. He was uh, watching the ball from the time he came off the bat. He was watching till last moment. He dived on his right side. An excellent catch by him. An excellent feeling by Lincoln. Dejected Wakar Yunus. Walks back. Accompanied by the weeping duck. I don't know why the duck has to be. It should be Wakar out comes the teenager, the 134th cricketer, and he is coming out because of this. Tossed up, Mahar falls for it, an almighty agricultural point. In the air, Mahanama probably lost it for just a split second, 
and that is why it resulted in this last desperate lunge. But he caught it beautifully. To Pakistan, 425 for now. One thing seems to be clear, although this is cricket, that Sri Lanka will bat today. Cut or nudge to really. That's the word I can use. Going down towards the third man boundary. That's four more runs to Pakistan. Probably he could have done with the flip. That ball cap straight. Edit outside for four runs. So good luck for Arthur Javed. He tried to play on the onside because it's bent was flat, the ball cut straight and then took the outer edge for four. It's going to be the tail now, in fact the very end of the tail. It's uh, Ken and Jack batting together. Pakistan nine down for 429. We are in the 137th. Oh. Akhid is not out eight. Saklan Mushtaq has not scored as yet. Pakistan 429 for 9 and we are in the 137th over. Pakistan losing 3 quick wickets after T when they lost Akram Moin Khan and Wakar Yunus. Arjuna Rana Tunga now would be wanting to polish off the Pakistan innings. Yes, he can afford to smile. He deserves it. He led well. He hasn't come on to bowl. Vast now in charge of the attack. Where did that go? No one knew. I don't think the batsman knew either. Bumped into the ground and probably missed the stump. The wicketkeeper did get a hand to it, but that was off the ground. Laka tried to play towards the core point, but I think he edged bottom bottom side of the bat and hit the ground over the head of the wicketkeeper for one. He gets a run. I'm sure Akib's going to talk about that run for quite some time. Akib's uh, batting average is about 2.6 or 2.7. Gets him away. That's a nice shot. That would do any batsman proud. Off the front foot, through the covers. Elected by one of the ground staff. Four runs to Akib Javi. He's going to talk about this even longer. Uh, well, this is what the uh, tail under's fast bowler would like to do. Excellent shot, well timed, extra cover side for four. That's up. Timed it well, with a flourish dispatched it to the boundary. He's now facing Vikramasinghe, who's been brought into the attack in an attempt to get rid of this menacing last wicket partnership. It wasn't meant to go there, but it's gone for four runs to deep mid off. Umpire Madhub Shah, stony faced, very good, showing no emotion. Well, he must have uh, instruction from his captain to get on with the game, get more runs as, as quickly as possible. And that's what Aki has done. He has played a superb shot over top of uh, uh, mid off fielder for four. Aki has his highest in test cricket. His uh, previous highest was 10. Victor Masinga to him. He goes for it again. And that's going to go for another four. Companies are trying to get the attainenders out. They become more and more nuisance. Uh, well, this is the aggressiveness of a tailender batsman who try to get two runs for the team because uh, captain must be looking for declaration. This ball, pitch outside Yasam. If you look at his uh, front foot on the leg side, make a room on, off, on the offside. He played superbly over mid off. He seems to be enjoying this. Well kitted, visored, helmeted. Victor Masinga doesn't 
know what to do about this. He tries one short. And where did that go? Oh, that's a no ball. That would have been the end of the Pakistan inning. After probably connected that, uh, the confidence shown by Dhanu Singh and the delight, and then saw umpire Mehbub Shah, like a traffic constable, sticking his right arm out. There it is. Well, that was a good judgment by the umpire. He shows no ball down there. Look at the foot, front foot, right the, uh, over the line. That's up in the air, and it's dropped. Jai Surya was that, or... That's Vaas. Chaminda Vaas. Jai Surya is the first man. Left-hander as well. Chaminda Vaas. There it is. Up and up and up. And Vaas getting both hands to it and then throwing it. Everything's happening here for the last pair. It's entertaining the crowd. They haven't had uh, much to be entertained about in the first day. In fact, they were a bit restive. Vikram Singh should have got a wicket. He's wicketless. Bowled his heart out. It hasn't been successful. He should have got that wicket in the last wicket. That belonged to him. Morally, I think he's got a wicket. Vikram Singh there once again. Get them away very nicely off his pad down the deep square lane. Pushpa Kumara comes running down the field, and is that going to be a run out? The bales are off. Dhanu Singh is on his knees. He's not pleading. That's uh, how he landed. And what's happening? Is the umpire asked for the third umpire's decision? Is he? That's the throw. You think you want to decide on that one? Well, definitely that was a good pick up and then slightly away, but very, very difficult to judge on this stage. You can see the bat is just sliding towards the line and the wicket keeper diving towards the stumps. It must be very, very hard for even third umpire to make a decision on this one. Batsman will probably be given the benefit of the doubt because the wicket keeper's bat is in there. I can't really see the edge of the bat, but uh, I think he just probably may have made it. The two umpires waiting, as is Rana Tunga. At least the Sri Lankans are smiling. That's a good sign. It's difficult uh, for the umpire, but he, the third umpire has given a green signal. And it's a good sign of the judgment. Pakistan first man waiting. He's without any emotion. Zahid Fazal. Play continues. I wonder what the rationale is behind continuing. Uh, but they've now declared. What I was saying that Akib Javis probably will be required to open the bowling. And as such, it, uh, was there any point in uh, continuing to make him bat? Probably he was enjoying himself. Probably they would like to have set a target. And of course, Akib normally ball number three. He comes in the chain. And they have declared the inning for 459 runs. So Akib Javed has enjoyed himself, his highest score in Test cricket. Pakistan declaring it 459 for the loss of nine wickets. Akib not out, 28 of just 34 deliveries, and that's the beginning of the Sri Lankan. Wasim Akram going to start proceedings for Pakistan. He is a great bowler, Wasim Akram. Mahanama and Kathura Singha going to start proceedings for Sri Lanka. Good batting lineup. Guru Sena, Sanjeev Arana Tunga, Arjuna, and Tilakaratna, all good batsmen. Dhunu Singha can bat, so can Vans. So, these Sri Lankans, no pushovers. Beginning of their innings. Good afternoon, Mr. Mahan. Wasim Akram greets him with a bounce. Pakistan probably wanting to get a wicket or two before close of play. 
I still maintain that they may have left the declaration just a bit too late. It was a good bouncer, but very far outside the leg term, quick of the pitch. Hathura Singha, he's borrowed uh, the idea of his headdress from the Arabs. That's the Hathura Singha trademark. Handkerchief tucked in the helmet. Another snow job. That was a good bounce. And I'm sure Hathura Singha may have smelt the varnish on that new ball. Must have his shoulder. <laughs> he was a very good bouncer. That ball leaving him. He had no time to adjust his, uh, himself and he hit in the shoulder. A very fine bouncer. Quicker off the pitch. And uh, Muin Khan has to collect right jumping on his toes. Akram again. It's a single to Hathura Singha. Down towards the Pakistan captain, Ramiz Raja. That's Sayyid Anwar. Raja in the background, captaining Pakistan for the first time in Test cricket. He's done so in one day international. That's Wasim Akram. Uh, that is the difference in pace. Because Wasim Akram is yards faster than any of the Sri Lankan. And he is getting just a bit of life from the wicket. Well, naturally, he's a fast bowler. He's got a new ball and he varies his pace and that is why he's so great bowler but uh, Mahanama is a very fine player he has got his technique this one a little bit quicker but not as uh, bouncy as uh, before but a uh, good bouncer this time the batsman saw it and dug it very well Saplan Mushtaq is the off spinner it's Mahanama now to face Wakayu That was an edge. It's gone down to the third man boundary. We'll have to have a look at the replay to establish whether that would technically go, go down as a chance. Well, it was a good ball from Rukar Yunus, leaving the batsman away. Batsman trying to slash it outside the optum, took a thick edge, and Muin Khan has to dive to his right side. I feel that it had just did not carry to him. The ball moved away, the ball carried, but I think just drop in, in front of Muin Khan. It could be a very, very good catch if he would have taken it. From Wakar Yunus's uh, reaction, I'm sure he's going to have a few words to say to Muin Khan in the pavilion. Sri Lanka 23 without loss, replying to Pakistan's 400. 59 for 9 declared and is are we having the problem of light again I think it is the light meter is out the two umpires are having a look at it Do you know how to read a light meter well, no, no I don't know 23 without the sky and it is shining down brightly there is a bit of breeze but today hotter than it was yesterday at the beginning of play Pakistan as you may recall had declared yesterday, late in the afternoon, at 459s. Bit of misfielding there, going down towards the cover boundary. Four runs. Nice way to get off the mark in the morning for Roshan Mahanama. Sri Lanka go on to 27 without loss, replying to Pakistan's 459 for nine. That was a loose ball from the Kai Yunus, pitching outside the Astom, short of length, and the batsman made a room to play a cover shot. It is point and cover, and it's a good start for Sri Lanka. Wakar Yunus in his third over, he, ha he was bowling his third over yesterday when light stopped play, and he's completing that over now. We'll talk about his run up and his action later. I feel it's a bit changed from what we are used to seeing. That one's played out onto the onside. Said Anwar, the fielder. Wakar Yunus recovering from a back injury, stress fracture of the back really, and that's the replay of that delivery, Hathura Singh playing it out, out onto the onside. 
discuss later with Naseem about the run up, his action. As you can see, it's not a wakar in full flow. The arm is slightly dropped. That ball is cut away to the third man boundary. Four more runs. Mukar not really pleased with himself. He, he should have had Mahanama court yesterday. That was a dropped catch by Moin Khan. Well, naturally, uh, for fast bowler back, it's very important. And naturally, he has gone through a long period. Uh, to recover that back injury and to come in rhythm, he needs a lot of exercise, a lot of workout. Probably he needs that. And he's just cautious about his run up and review of the ball. Was he Makram? He's asking for a catch. There's more an excitement than any conviction there. Umpire never should quite unknown. As you notice, the heat of the day has led the umpires to not even wear ties. The coats are a far cry, but they're wearing half sleeve shirts as well. No ties, open collars. Yeah, but the good ball came back. A little, little bit bounce on that ball. And uh, probably he dived, the fielder dived it, but there was no chance for a catch because it came off the pad. Bakar to Mahanama. That's going to be close outside the off stump. He was trying to square cut that one. You see the two views of Bakar's action. In fact, at the moment, we're seeing one. That, that you see the one from the front and one from the side. And uh, Bakar Yunus, the follow through is also not the same. It used to be quite a long follow through, almost to the gully position at times. Roshan Mahana. That's out, yes. Both behind. Wakar knew it. And the reaction of Wakar also was not that of that great exuberance that we are going to see. He didn't bounce up and down. But he's satisfied. I think he's relieved that he's got a wicket. Mahanama is out. Both behind for 29. Well, you, as you said, uh, he must be very pleased because uh, naturally it was a good wicket for him. This particular ball moved a bit and the Mahana played forward and he committed that shot and got the outrage. Uh, as far as Vikar is concerned, it's still he's, um, I think he's put on some weight also because naturally when you are away from cricket, it's bound to affect your physical strength as well as your physique. And he has put on some weight on the waistline side as well. There's the replay. Mahanama trying to withdraw. He withdrew his right hand, but the ball had already touched the bat and went on to the gloves of Moin Khan. And Wakar's arm has also dropped just a little, I think. His pace has slowed down. That's a lovely shot by Hathura Singhe. The off drive going down towards the long off boundary, crosses the rope now, four runs to Hathura Singhe. Volley outside the Aftam, excellent shot by Hathaway. Pitch outside the Aftam, made a room for it, played excellent, middle it, and there's no chance for the fielder to stop it. That's a run up of the team, and that's a four. Look at the power behind it, footwork, and both feet, excellent execution of the shot. Bakar Yunus now to the left handed Guru Sena. Beaten outside the off stump, who's in a shoulder down trying to play that one. The ball team put efforts, the ball come uh, to the height, normal height. Square cut, lovely shot going down to the point boundary. Four more runs to Asanka Gurusina. Came down on it like a flash. That ball straying outside the off stump. Shoaib Mohammed. Let's see. Wasim Akram again to Hathura Singh. Full toss, driven past the mid off region, down to the long off boundary, over the rope. Four more runs to Sri Lanka, four more runs to Hathura Singh. Hathura Singh basically has been labelled as a one day player, and I think at the moment his, the fluency of his shots is proving that. But I, he also has a lot of patience. Technically, he's very, very sound. Look at the shot, a loose ball from uh, Vasim Makram, full toss ball outside the Aftam. He leaned forward, make a room for it, and you can see this is his whole body there to play the shot, and this is the right way to do it. 
uh, the technique is very important and he had got that and of course somebody has got good technique he could be a good one day player as well Ramiz Raja the captain doing the retrievers job that's the spirit in Raja he wouldn't send anyone else to pick that ball up he'll go himself outside the boundary line pick it up come back Akram again full toss tucked away off his pads down to the deep square leg boundary is there going to be a close finish the ball will win it does yes that was a good sprinting effort by the fielder from long leg but that was a nicely sweetly time trip out there in the middle for sri lanka and into the attack comes the much awaited saplan mushtaq the off spin first ball is cut away beautifully by Gurusina making room for himself to play that shot going down to the point boundary four runs umpire Aldridge signals the boundary I pity umpire Aldridge he's come from New Zealand where he told me the temperature was more to one degree and he's out here in 35 that's the scorecard 76 for the loss of one wicket Sri Lanka Hathura Singh not out 23 Gurusina not out 20 19th over in progress. Plenty of batting to come. Saklan Mushtaq bowling to Hathura Singh. The second over that is Saklan's. First ball coming up. Hathura Singh comes out, drives. He missed that, uh, mistimed it, and it's caught by Inzima Mulhaq at mid wicket short mid wicket Inzima makes the catch Sri Lanka have lost their second wicket Atura Singer out both Inzima Mulhaq bowled Saklan Mushtaq a better flighted ball from uh, Saklan and the batsman tried to play on top of the ball but he was beaten in the air and the ball turned so he got the inner edge and it was an excellent catch taken by Inzima 52 balls he faced 101 minutes he was at the crease Five boundaries for Chandika Hathura Singh. Sri Lanka have lost their second wicket. Akib now. And Guru Sena glances that one, exquisitely glanced to the fine leg boundary for four more runs. Umpire Mehboob Shah signals the boundary, falls over Guru Sena and the newcomer Sanjeeva Ranatunga, the younger brother of the captain, have a word. That ball full toss on the leg stump and he very well glided on the fine leg. There was no fielder. Time it well and a good shot. But Dolo has to ball on, it on, on the off stump. Saklan Mushtaq to Asanka Gurusina. Gurusina drives. It's in the air. Caught at uh, deep mid off by Wasim Akram. And Saklan Mushtaq strikes again for Pakistan. Getting the wicket of Guru Sina and Sri Lanka now in a spot of trouble. They are three down for 83. Guru Sina out for 24. Caught by Akram of the teenager Saklan Mushtaq. Bit of applause and uh, look at the colleagues congratulating young Saklan. It has been a nice bowling from uh, Saklan, young players. He has bowled a good line. He's used his flight very well. And, and this wicket also, a flighted one. And the batsman was committed to play the shot and he mistimed it. A very good catch taken by Vasim Akram. This again, flighted ball in the air, committed by the batsman, mistimed it, and very well judged catch by Vasim Akram. So it's a good bowling from a young bowler who has just been 19 uh, probably. And uh, he's bowling good line, he's using his flight, he's turning the ball and he's uh, bowling according to the batsman. Saklan Mushtaq uh, Nasim will be 19 in November. So he's still not there. Akib Jave to bowl to Sanjeeva Rana Tumba, the younger brother. With him is the captain and the elder brother, Arjuna Rana Tumba. Two Rana Tungas at the crease. That ball has gone towards the point boundary for four more runs. He timed that very well. There's no flurry about that. He just dropped his bat onto it, angled it away. The ball raced to the boundary. There's Arjuna Ranatunga. 
most experienced Sri Lankan player. He's playing his 57th test match. Sri Lanka playing their 61st. That ball from Saklan Mushtaq, it's driven away through the covers. Four more runs to Sri Lanka. Umpire Aldridge signals the boundary. Saklan looking a bit unhappy there, but uh, Arjuna has dispatched him very well. That was a whole volleyball from Saklan or Sir Jastam, and, uh, and batsman made a room to play and glided towards the point and, and made sure that plays between the fielders. An excellently executed shot from batsman. Akib Javed to Sanjeeva Ranatunga. He bounced that one and that ball it was a no ball called. And Sanjeeva Ranatunga struck on the helmet, I think. Yes, because he did duck. You'll see that in the replay shortly. And uh, that ball didn't rise as much as uh, Sanjeeva anticipated and expected. And as such, he took it on the helmet. Umpire Mehbub Shah there looking a bit concerned. And young Sanjeeva being given some aid. I feel when a batsman ducking the ball, he got to have his eye on the ball and he, you can watch him that he missed that uh, bounce and his eye was down naturally it's going to affect him Akip to Arjuna Ranatunga appeal for LBW and that is out the Sri Lankan captain is gone it is 101 for 4 the Pakistanis rejoice as Arjuna Ranatunga walks away and that also is the luncheon time so at lunch, Sri Lanka 101 for 4, replying to Pakistan's 459 for 9 declared. Good bowling from Malki Javed. He has been bowling a very good line, and this particular ball was pitched up to the batsman. And Ranatunga, instead of playing forward, he played on his on his crease. And naturally, that ball little bit kept low as well, which he did not expect. So he was given, he was right in front of the wicket and given a little good bowling from Malki Javed. Company with Sanjeeva Ranatunga. Sanjeeva facing Saklan Mushta. Yes. Drives that one down towards the deep mid on boundary. It's racing away to the fence, crosses the rope, four runs. Good shot there by Sanjeeva. Good shot from Sanjeeva. That ball pitch on the legs from Hav Valley, and he made a good room to play straight on the leg stump, played, covered the line and played between bowler and mid-on fielder. A good shot from him. The off spinner this time to Tilakaratne. Full toss and dispatched towards the mid-wicket region. It's going to be cut off. It is now Wakar Yunus just losing the ball there for a little while and then picked it up and threw it in. Saklan Mushtaq. It's a view of the VIP stand. A bit of movement there. And it's going to be Wasim Akram. He's going to bowl to Hishan Tilakarat. That one probably on the pad, but missing the stumps. And Wasim Akram once again appealing there. Umpire Mehboob Shah negatives the appeal. As I said earlier, that anything playing on the front foot is very, very difficult for the umpire to give LBW. This ball, more or less, pitched on the off turn, came back, and Bestman was right in front. And actually, benefit and doubt has given to the Bestman. Akram once again to Sanjeeva Ranatunga, who drives, take, making it a full toss, driving it out towards the deep mid off region over the line. Four more runs to Sanjeeva Ranatunga. Local lad getting ready to take his seat. Well, I feel that th this shot Vasim Akram should have stopped. He just casually uh, bent down and tried to collect it, but it was a good shot because it was a full toss straight to him. Vasim drops that short. It was an Amir Sohil there who collected that ball. Was rather amused. He's not facing it, so he well can be. Dilek Ratna is not, I'm sure. 
You see that ball going off his shoulder. Amir Sohail collecting it in the slips. That was a good ball. Much quicker of the pitch. Another appeal, this time for a catch behind. Ampar Mehbusha is amused, I think. Vaseem Akram persistently appealing. Akram to Rana Tunga. There's appeal for LBW and he's out. Sanjeeva Rana Tunga goes. And Sri Lanka have lost their fifth wicket at 132. He's out LBW to Vaseem Akram for 33. Four fours in that 33 for Sanjeeva Rana Tunga. That ball swung a bit in the air. We'll have a look at the replay. I suspect it was probably just going down the leg side. That was a late swing ball from Vasim Akram. And by the time hitting on the pad, it was still swinging. And probably could say that might be missing leg stump. But since his foot was on the leg stump and hit him direct as a full toss. Swing to Dunu Singh. Wraps him on the pad. There's an appeal for LBW and he's out. The sixth wicket gone. Vaseem Akram strikes again for Pakistan. It is six for 134. Dunu Sunge out without troubling the scorers for a duck. Just faced two deliveries. A dejected Dunu Sunge walks back. This has been a good spell from Vaseem Akram. And this ball just came back and the batsman played right back. And of course he was right in front. And I'm packing LBW. Aldona Singha is out for naught. He the in Sri Lankas are in trouble now. They have to ensure that they settle down and at least pass the day so that they can start tomorrow. To Vas. And he's bowled him. What a beauty. The next stump clean out of the ground, and this is the first bold of the match. Vaseem Akram bowling Chamindavas. Well, that was excellent ball from Vaseem Akram. That ball moved into the batsman and came back very late. And Vas was trying to play on the back foot. And there was a gap between bat and pad and gone through that. And the millstone was out. So Sri Lanka is really in trouble. And they have to show if they can save the follow on. And I feel probably they will be struggling. Another view of the dismissal of Chamindavas comprehensively castled, the middle stump flat on the ground, and walks back rather dejectedly. A look at it from another angle. Beautiful delivery, just moved sufficiently in the air to beat the hesitant prod of Chamindavas, who I think first wanted to go in front and then go, went back, and that's where he landed himself in trouble. It's Vaseem Akram to Vikrama Singh. No. no ball called. Vaseem Akram overstepping and Vikrama Singh there surviving because it was a no ball and uh, he took it on the pad. Well, I'm sure if there was a no ball, probably it could, could be a good shout for LBW because he was right back. Seven down now for 100. And 43. Akram to Vikramasinghe. He's bowled him. And Sri Lanka has lost their eighth wicket. Pramadoya Vikramasinghe just out. Bowled by Vasim Akram without scoring. And now the follow on ominously looming over the Sri Lankans. Another fine delivery from Vasim Akram. That ball pitched a little like Tom and moved away. And the batsman tried to go back. His off stump was open and was clean bowled. Excellent exhibition of bowling from Vasim Akram, especially with the semi new ball. And he has done extremely well for Pakistan. And at this stage, Sri Lanka is struggling very hard to survive. And I'm sure probably they have to re bat again. Running out of partners now. He's facing Saklan Mushtaq. Square cuts that one, giving himself room to play that shot. Inzima Mulhaq unable to get to that. It crosses the line now. Four runs. Beautiful shot by Tilakaratne. Saklan for the first time straying down outside the off stump and being punished very effectively and very productively by Hishan Tilakaratne. 
Suplan Mushtaq once again. Impressive test debut. He's batted well. He got eight not out. And he's now bowled well. He's amongst the wickets. And he's troubled the batsman. That one has gone away once again, this time towards the long off region. Four more runs to Tilakaratne. I think Tilakaratne has decided that if he's going to run out of partners, he might as well use the long handle and get a few more runs on the board as quickly as possible. So young Saklan coming at the wrong end of the stick, as it were. Well, I think this is the demand of the time. He, he can get as many runs as possible. This ball pitched a little bit up to him, flighted one and made a room to play over the fielder for four runs. Saklan again, and Tilakaratna this time steers him away towards the deep backward point region, the ball going down towards the boundary, and that's four more runs. That's uh, almost a hat-trick of boundaries, as it were, by Tilakaratna. Sri Lanka are 155 for eight. And Tilakaratna plays well. He's glided that shot towards the third man. The ball turned and he played the turn. Wakar Yunus to Mutaya Murli Dharan. And Murli Dharan there moved away towards the leg side and then managed to play the ball down towards the deep point boundary for four. Akib Javed to Mutaya Murlidhara. That was a bouncer and Murlidharan there sprawling on the ground. I don't think it's fair to call a bouncer to batsman of Murlidharan's caliber, is it? Well, they are playing professional cricket. They have to expect everything. That was a good bouncer. And of course, to scare the batsman, probably the next ball may be up to the bat. And this is what normally fast bowlers do. Akib once again. He's bowled extremely well today, Akib. He's troubled the batsman. He's amongst the wickets. Murlidharan gets him away this time. Down to the deep point boundary. That's going to be a few runs there. Wasim Akram in the end doing the collection. Most of the pace taken off by... Shweb diving at uh, point. It's Wakar Yunus now. He's bowling to Hishan Tilakaratne. Tilakaratne gets him away very nicely to the deep backward point boundary. Four runs. That ball string down the offside. And Tilakaratne saw that early and then steered him wide of point to the boundary. Tilakaratne this time drives past the bowler, coming down towards the side screen at the other end. Is it going to cross the line? Yes, it does. Four more runs to Hishan Tilakaratne. And uh, Rasman has played excellent shot, and this one is straight one for four. Wakar Yunus, 11 overs, one for 47. He hasn't been his, in his top form, in his elements, as it were. Another view of the VIP stand, and it's going to be Wasim Akram. He's got four for 52. He's bowling his 19th over. Three maidens. He's really bowled well today and troubled all the Sri Lankans. Murli Dharan this time gets him away towards point. Very, very well fielded by Sayyid Anwar. Sri Lanka, the eighth wicket partnership turning out to be one of their best. The highest was 39 for the first wicket and after that it is this one for the 8th wicket. Murli Dharan, full of concentration, determination. He's facing Akib. Akib sends him another short snorter. Didn't rise very much but Murli Dharan this time moved away in time. Kept his eyes on the ball moved away and umpire has signaled that that was the first bouncer. So Muli Dharan is uh, not of course not a batsman. He just tried to play every ball away from him and this ball a little bit too quick for him. And he just missed his head. 
So at T, Sri Lanka wanting 459 are 182 for 8. 58 overs have been bowled. And the Pakistani bowling, the field, two slips, two gullies, and the wicket keeper there. Very fine picture. A nice sight to watch. Akram to Murli Dharan. And Murli Dharan there is going to be out. Yes, caught by Saklan Mushtaq. That ball flying to the first gully and Murli Dharan there almost spooning that catch and Saklan Mushtaq bringing it off at the second attempt and Sri Lanka are 184 for 9 and this partnership has added 42 runs which is the highest partnership of the match. Murli Dharan has been playing away from his body and this ball was seen Makram bowling all around the wicket just pitching up to the batsman and naturally was playing away from his body and it was good catch taken by Chuck Lynn. Uh, at this stage I feel that uh, Sri Lankans have applied themselves they should have played more cons with more concentrations and if they have followed on which is very obvious now they have to apply themselves in the second inning Murli Dharan there almost as if given catching practice he moved away towards the leg and spooned that ball to the first gully. So the debutant Saklan has participated in all the activities. He's taken wickets, he's scored runs, and he's now taken a catch. Akram to Pushpa Kumara. Pushpa Kumara gets a single towards point. Shoaib, the fielder, one of the best fielders on the Pakistan side. The Pakistani ground fielding today has been a bit shoddy. He could have done better. They have been poor in pickup or in chasing the ball, but Shoaib was one of the outstanding ones. Akib now to Pushpa Kumara. 186 Sri Lanka. Pushpa Kumara pushes that one. It's Ajaz coming in. It's a direct throw and he's run out. That is the end of the Sri Lankan innings. Pushpa Kumara run out going for what I thought was an impossible single and Ejaz's direct throw from the onside hit the stumps and umpire Mehbub Shai no doubt whatsoever Sri Lanka all out 186 Pushpa Kumara run out 1 Tilakaritma not out 44 well it was a very nice understanding by the fielders he picked that ball very well he looked at his run he picked the ball and threw it very well and was a one stump throw, so it was a very good pickup and good throw, and that's what you need in a good team work. Sri Lanka all out, 186 in 62 overs and one delivery, which means that they are 273 runs behind, and Ramiz Raja can enforce the follow-on if he so desires. I think he will. Follow-on as expected. And the Sri Lankan second innings beginning. Wakar to Hathura Singh. He gets him away onto the on offside towards the point boundary, square of the wicket. Four runs to Hathura Singh. Sri Lanka off to a brisk start. One feels uh, after watching this shot that Sri Lankan batsmen have uh, still a lot of one day cricket. In well, they have to change because uh, this is a five-day cricket and um, they have to apply well in this inning. This particular ball was pitched outside the Austin and the batsman played well but slightly uppish. But now they need a good application on the wicket. Another view of the VIP stand and a view of the stance of the batsman. It's Akib to Mahanam. Wraps him on the pad, appeal for LBW, he's gone. Akib Javed strikes for Pakistan in the second innings. Mahanama is out, LBW. And Pakistan have struck early. Mahanama out rather dejectedly walks back. Well, naturally, Pakistan was looking early, bro, and they have got it. It was a good ball from Akib. Came back, and of course, he was right in front, playing back foot. An umpire has no hesitation given out. Roshan Mahanama walks back rather dejectedly. He's out for two. LBW to Akib. 
faced 18 deliveries in 18 minutes that he was at the crease. So Pakistan now in a commanding position. We've got rid of one of the best batsmen for Sri Lanka. Being applauded by some of their Sri Lanka 10 for 1. There's Akib Javed to bowl to Asanka Gurusena. Bounces that one at him. Didn't rise very much, but it did uh, clear the back of Asanka Gurusena. Didn't go at a comfortable height to the wicket keeper. Well, of course, the pace of the pitch is very slow. And naturally, uh, it's bounced, but it's come slow and travel very slow. So naturally, it's not going to carry to the wicket keeper. Moin Khan has done a good job. It's now going to be Wakar Yunus to Chandika Hathura Singh. Sri Lanka 10 for 1 in their second innings, following on 273 behind. Hathura Singh gets him away, off his toes, down to deep square leg, and is that going to be four runs? Yes, it is. Four runs to Hathura Singh. Good looking shot from him of Wakar Yunus, who is in this match not a shadow of his former self. A very fine looking shot of the toes, the ball pitching on the leg side and played very well on the leg side. Timed it well and there was no fielder and went for four. Well, this is replay. Look at his uh, body behind the ball and he's watching the ball while he's hitting and that's called a good execution of the shot. Wakar again to Hathura Singh. Outside the off stump, he steers him away down towards deep backward point. Is that going to cross the line? Yes, it does. Anwar Sai doesn't get to it. Four more runs. Umpire Mehboob Shah signals the boundary. It's the second consecutive four. Sri Lanka are now 18 for one. Hathura Singh and Guru Sina together after the early loss of Roshan Mahanama. Well, Vakar Yunus' line and direction is very poor. He's been bowling on both sides. He can't do that. And that was excellent shot from him. The ball was pitching outside the off stump. So very wide. But of course, very slow off the pitch. And the batsman took liberty to play to the point. Vakar again. And Hathura Singh has got him away again. A nice shot there. Angling the bat at the last moment. Guiding the ball and placing it well wide of the fielders to the point boundary for four more rounds. Three fours by Hathura Singh. This looked very easy shot from here because the ball was coming very slow outside the off stump and the batsman glided that shot towards the point and more or less third, third man side. Slightly in the air but was well timed shot. Hathura Singh not out 17. 16 of those have come in boundaries. Is he going to sort of finish the match tonight, it seems? Uh, he's in a hurry. Wakar Yunus, it's seldom that he's treated this way, but as we said, Wakar Yunus bowling well within himself, being extra careful about his back. Tries to bounce that one at Hathura Singhe. Hathura hopped as he played that one, and the batsmen take a comfortable single. Ramiz Raja, Pakistan captain would be wanting another wicket or two before the stumps are drawn. He's made Sri Lanka follow on, 273 behind. He's grabbed a quick wicket through the courtesy of Akib Javed, who got rid of Roshan Mahanama. Now that's the crowd let in for free as the gates are opened. We we'll have a few last glimpses of the day's play. And it's Amir Sohail into the attack, the left arm spinner. He's known to break a lot of obdurate partnerships, bowling to Guru Sena. And is that going to be out? Yes, it is. Amir Sohail strikes. Guru Sena is gone and Sri Lanka have lost their second wicket. The very important wicket of Asanka Guru Sena. Pakistan have taken two very important wickets in late afternoon of the third day's play in Sri Lanka's second innings. Guru Sena walks back rather dejectedly. Very good change by the captain, bringing left-arm bowler. 
and it's of course there's a change in the direction, the pace, and in, in the spin. And this particular ball was just kept straight, and the batsman played on the front foot, Garcia, and he was a well just take, catch taken by Saeed. Gurusena out for 10, caught by Saeed Anwar at silly mid off of the bowling of Amir Sohail. That's how it happened. He prodded forward, the ball remained in the air for some time. Good catch by Saeed Anwar, low down, and Amir Sohail, in his typical ecstatic fashion, is absolutely delighted. Another look, the prod, and that's the catch. A clean catch taken as Saeed Anwar then throws the ball up in the air and goes on to congratulate the bowler. It's now the new man in, Sanjeeva. He's facing up to Saklan Mushtaq, the off-spinner. And he gets him away very nicely, swept down to the deep square leg boundary, four runs to Sanjeeva Ranatunga. Sanjeeva Ranatunga, knowing that the spinners are operating out there in the middle, is wearing a blue Sri Lankan cap rather than the helmet. That was a good shot, playing towards the mid-wicket side. But at this stage, I feel the Sri Lankan have to ensure the day off. And these two batsmen, uh, very senior players, they have to see that they apply themselves, they concentrate, concentrate Sri Lanka 53 for 2. This ball jumped up off the pad of the batsman. It's hit Moeen somewhere in the left eye. And uh, one good thing there was that as soon as Moeen was hit and Sanjeeva Ranatunga went to have a look at him. Very nice gesture. Well, of course, I think they are sportsmen. They have to show the spit. Uh, it's very difficult for a wicketkeeper when somebody is padding the ball and he, he just become blind, especially the ball hitting off the pad and was lucky that he was survived. The gutsy Moeen back, he's winking a bit. Saklan to Sanjeeva Ranatunga. There's an appeal and Moon Khan joins in but not very enthusiastically and I think umpire Mehbubja is saying what you're appealing for bit amused. Well, I doubt anything happened there. It was just straight ball through and uh, neither it touches pad or anything else. The ball was pitched outside the off stump. Amir Sohail to Hathura Singh. And Hathura Singh gets him away. That's a nice shot. Square of the wicket to the point boundary. Four runs. Hathura Singh is batting extremely delightfully today. He's sent his Arab-fashioned helmet and hanky back and is wearing a nice white floppy hat. Hathura Singh in not out 50, being congratulated in a typical Northwest Frontier fashion there. Good knock by Hathura Singh, eh? duly registered by the scorers and the statisticians there. Sanjeeva Ranatunga now to face Saklan. Outside the off stump, square cut. That's going to be four runs. Over the line it goes. Four more to Sri Lanka. Four more to Sanjeeva Ranatunga. Well, anything outside the off stump, short of land. And ideal ball to play in court. It was a good balling from Mark Javed and Sanjeeva has to was committed to play that ball because that ball little move, move little bit of the pitch and uh, he's trying to came behind the ball but unfortunately the ball just left him and took the outrage of the bat. Excellent balling from Mark Javed. Pakistan now on top and disaster for Sri Lanka, they will require a very long and a very big partnership. Scorers penning away the details as Hishan Tilakaratna, the obdurate, the stubborn, the brave Hishan Tilakaratna walks out. Remained not out in the first innings, stranded without partners. Nice crowd. 
two ladies also present to watch the match. It's a holiday today, the 11th of September, being the anniversary of the death of Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan. Akram to Rana Tungai gets him away. That's a nice shot. Off his toes to the square leg boundary for four runs. Arjuna Rana Tunga, the captain. And with him is Hishan Tilakaratna. These two will have to fight back for Sri Lanka. Very fine looking shot of the toes from Rana Tunga. And time it very well. And then for four square leg. Sri Lanka have to bat well. They unfortunately they did not bat well in the first inning. They did not apply themselves. They didn't have lack in concentration. Now they have to because they have lost four good wickets and this very much depend on this partnership. Akram again. But give him plenty of time to see it and Adha. let it go. Akram again. Short and this one is pulled away to Akib Javed at long leg. The batsman settled for a single. Very quick between the wickets, Rana Tunga. Don't be misled by his portly figure. A short leg arrives. Sri Lanka now require 173 runs to avoid an innings defeat and make Pakistan bat again. Two men close to the bat in on the offside and the onside, a silly mid-off and a silly mid-on. It's going to be Akib Javed to Arjuna Ranatunga, who pulls him and the ball taking the edge goes down to the fine leg boundary for four more runs. Umpire Mehboob Shah from Pakistan signaling the boundary. Another oh. Arjuna Ranatunga. Akib to him. Bowling round the wicket now. And this one is edged, uppishly but safely. Wide of the slips, down to the third man boundary. Four more runs to Arjuna Ranatunga. Not afraid to use the long handle at times, but this one was deftly played. A bit uppish, but safe. Placed it well. Well, you can't do anything about such shots. The ball pitch outside the off term. The batsman just glided. And with the... Uh, flat uh, face of the bat. He's bowling to Arjuna Ranatu. Not willing to take any risks, Arjuna Ranatunga. Again. At once pulled away. Summarily dispatched to the square leg boundary for four. Short and rising, Ranatunga saw that early and pulled him away. Vakar Yunus, Arjuna Ranata, bowling from his full uh, run-up and that ball's short and rising outside the off stump and cut away and placed well by Ranatunga for four more runs. Well, anything short for Ranatunga, he plays it very well. Every ball pitching either on leg side or offside, he has made that shot perfectly well. And this one, playing between two gullies and, and two slaves. The sun out, in fact, when it's dark, they brighten the vision, and when it's sunny, they protect you from the glare of the sun. Great inventions, these things. Wakar Yunus. To Arjuna Ranatunga. 57th test match, he's playing for Sri Lanka. And that was a sort of jab shot. He dragged that ball from just a bit outside the off stump, but it's gone to the boundary for four at mid wicket. The end of Wakar Yunus is over. To me, it looked like a chip shot, but well timed shot. And he middled it. Look at him, he just moved the bat, just pulling on the leg side. But you never expect that it's going to go so fast, but it must be the timing of the ball. Pakistan captain Ramiz Raja probably thinking of ways to get rid of this partnership. That's a nice shot. Through the covers, off the front foot, going to the extra cover boundary, four runs. To build up the inning for Sri Lanka. 
to come off from the uh, they're struggling Suklan Mushtaq the off spinner now in operation Ejaz close in fielder that's the previous delivery from Suklan he tossed that up turned very slowly out he comes and drives it in the air but safe over the extra cover region four more runs to the Sri Lankan captain Arjuna Ranatunga not afraid to use his feet against the spin very good judgment by Ranatunga looks around the field pretty decoration on that bat Suklan to him tries to cut that he didn't get hold of it or the inside edge of the bat onto the ground very determined look Suklan again bowling round the wicket Rana Tunga drives lovely looking shot that's going to the boundary or will Wasim cut it off no he doesn't four more runs to Rana Tunga and that should be his 50 that's the 21st 50 for Arjuna Rana Tunga in test cricket a very fine display from the captain this one half volley on the off stump made a room for it and played in the gap for four and the way he's batting the Sri Lanka needs his this kind of inning from him so that they can survive from this test match but there's a long way to go There were clouds this morning, pretty heavy clouds, but they became very thin before play started, and now it's brilliant sunshine. An inquiry for LBW, very optimistic for young Suplan there. Quite unmoved, there's nothing doing. Well, this ball came back, and Ranatunga wanted to play a break. Naturally, it came back, so he did bad and missing the leg stump. That one swept, going down towards the deep fine leg boundary. Four more runs. One of the spectators retrieves the ball, saving the fielders from effort. Tilakaratna facing Saklan Mashta. That should have been pulled. That ball turned very sharply and uh, came up as well. And slip Amir uh, was not ready to catch it. Uh, as regards this partnership, I think Sri Lanka have to depend on these two players. They have done so far extremely well. Tucked away very nicely down towards deep square leg, traveling down to the boundary. Over the line it goes, four more runs. Also a no ball, I think, is that was signaled by umpire Brian Aldridge. Shot. Suplan now to Ranatunga. Ranatunga had it all covered. He shuffled across and then that the ball wasn't uh, coming enough for him to make that shot. And ball, very well ball. Shabai, shabai. Let it hit him on the pad. No question of an MVW. He was far down. The ball would have missed his thumbs anyway. Suplan again. Rana Tunga sweeps down to the square leg boundary. Four runs. Lovely shot. Timed it well. Placed it well. And literally not a fielder move until the ball had crossed the line. That is the command with which the Sri Lankan captain bats. It's a delight to watch him when he's in full cry. At the moment, he has a great deal of responsibility on his shoulders, trying to 
salvage the situation from side. The next one, he's lofted him, first bounce over the fence at deep mid off for four more runs. Nice round of applause from this crowd. Ranatunga looks around. Very intelligent batting from Ranatunga. The one he played before, Squalek, and I'm sure he was expecting this will be outside the aftermath. And he picked the flight and played it very well over top of the fielder. Akib now to Tilakratna. He jabbed at that one outside edge going down to the square third man boundary. Four more runs to Hishan Tilakaratna. So this partnership now proving ominous from the Pakistan point of view. They must break this partnership if they are going to go for a victory possibly today. Well, Akhi was not happy about this shot. Naturally, bowler was bowling well on a good line and Besson edged it to a slip. So he obviously disappointed. That is a good run for Sri Lanka. Good fielding by Akhi from his follow through. Sri Lanka 192 for the loss of four wickets. These two have now added more than 100 rounds for this partnership replay that previous delivery Tilakaratna driving it back and off the bounce from the wicket Akhip preventing any runs here he is again bounces that one at Tilakaratna but the jack in the box Tilakaratna very quick and that is the first bouncer as umpire already just signaled two bouncers are allowed in an over to the bowler Well, Akhip always bowl a good bouncer because he just bowl a good line and uh, batsmen have to duck. Hishan Tilakaratna getting ready to face the next delivery from Akhip. Bounces at him again but this time Tilakaratna hooks and hooks well going down towards the boundary and it stops. Oh dear, oh dear. That should have been morally four, in fact, four runs to the batsman. But the ball just stopped in this heavy outfield. Tilak Ratna, rather surprised there. Yes, you did everything all right. Still got four runs there. And Akib Javed cooling himself further. A lot of handkerchiefs being used there. Must be very hot down there. This must be very tiring for the fast bowler. This shot uh, was very good from him because he just played a square but probably the outfield was very slow and of course it's a four day. Amir Sohail now to Arjuna Rana to who cuts and cuts very well and very productively for four runs to the point boundary. In the Amir Sohail just slightly short. He played extremely well between cover point and cover. 206 for four. Was seen to Tilakarat. The bouncer outside the off stump. That's the first bouncer. Umpire is it. Outside boxes. Amir Sohail. Now to Hishan Tilakaratna. Drives. That's a lovely shot. The on drive past the sprawling Amir down to the boundary for four. Mr. Hale moving towards his left, trying to get hold of that one. Perfect timing of the shot. An ideal place to play a shot because there's no feeling on there. Tilakarat now facing Amir Suhail. This time he moves back and thumps it out towards extra cover. Wasim uh, Rami Raja moving very quickly towards his right. Picks up, throws in. Pakistan captain handled the side well but this partnership proving a bit difficult to dislodge these two batting extremely well very sensibly so hail again and Rana Tunga cuts and he's out yes caught in the slips by Inzima Mulhaq and Amir Sohail is absolutely delighted receiving the congratulations from his colleagues and the 
stubborn partnership is at last broken. Rana Tunga very upset with himself. Five for 214 now. Rana Tunga caught in Jamaamul Haq, bowled Amir Sohail for 76. And he had 12 glittering fours in that 76. Well, Pakistan needs badly this partnership to, to be broken. Excellent catch by Inzimam. The ball came quicker off the pitch and Inzimam has to dive in the front side to catch it. Look at the pace of the ball and it went to, on his left side. He dived it and took a good catch. Tanatunga has played extremely well. He has done a good job for Sri Lanka but still far behind what is required to save the match. 59 still required to save an innings defeat. <laughs> 2 1 5 for 5. Duno Singer hasn't scored. Tilak Ratna is 41. The last batsman out. Arjuna Ranatunga for 76. Amir Sohail. He's bowling to Tilakaratna. Brought that one in from outside the off stump. Tilakaratna cuts, going down towards the point boundary. Slows down. And Wakar Yunus gets to it. There's his return. Nice return. Strong arm, Wakar Yunus. Ball once again slowing down on this heavy outfield. Wasim Akram now to Tilakaratna. You see the pace of that uh, wicket, Akram again. And Tilakaratna has cut him away between the slips and gully to the third man boundary for four. Four more runs to Hishan Tilakaratna. Akram to Tilakaratna. And he drives and is caught, brilliantly caught, by the Pakistan captain Ramiz Raja. And he fails yet again to get his 50, which he so fully deserved. He's out for 48 with a score on double Nelson. 2-2-2 two, two, two for the loss of six wickets now, Sri Lanka. Dilakaratna out, caught Ramiz Raja, bowled Wasim Akram 48. Six fours and he faced 125 deliveries. Wasim Akram varies his pace a lot and this one, just a ball which is coming into the batsman and batsman tried to play on the front foot, didn't time well. Excellent catch by the captain of the Pakistan team and this wicket of course seems that Sri Lanka is a very in very poor position. On two 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 or one 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 or triple three. Once again look at that catch. Very fine effort by Ramesh Raja. Dunu Singh. The wicket keeper facing Amir Suhail, who's bowling round the wicket now. Well ball, yourself. Well ball, didn't get uh, anything in the first inning, so he is on a pair. Would like to get off that as quickly as possible. He's facing Amir Suhail. And he tries to heave him away on the onside. The outside edge caught in the slips by Inzimamul Haq and Dunu Singe is out and he gets a pair. Duck in the first inning, the duck in the second, and out also on double Nelsons. 2-2-2 two, two, two for the loss of seven wickets. Dunu Singh there, caught by Inzimamul Haq in the slips. That was a frustrated shot from him. The ball was pitched out there off stump, turned, and could not, of course, connect it because it was too far away from the band, took the top edge, and a very fine catch taken by Inzimamul. So I feel that um, Sri Lanka is struggling and they are un probably unable to uh, avoid the defeat by any. Amir Sohail now has taken three wickets, which is his best bowling performance in test cricket. The previous best was two for five. He has now taken three wickets. He's bowling to Vikram Singhe. Vikram Singhe like a seasoned batsman watches that one leaves it alone that ball turn a bit Amir again down the leg side a stumping attempt by Moin Khan but Vikram Singh hadn't moved 
his feet firmly planted behind the popping crease. Amir Suhail again, left arm round to Vikram Singh. Close infielders there, you saw. He silly it on, the silly it off, and the slips. So Pakistan now on the attack. To try to polish off the Sri Lankan tail as quickly as possible and go one up in the series. Full toss, Vikramasinghe gets him away down towards the deep mid-wicket boundary. The ball travelling and it crosses the line now. Once again slowing down, but that's four more runs to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka to make Pakistan bat again. And they've got three second innings wickets in hand. And with greatest respect to them, not very good batsmen. Saklan to Vikramasinghe. That ball turned. Vikramasinghe trying to drive him, probably off the pad. We'll wait for the umpire signal. Leg buys, signaled by umpire Aldridge. 232 now for seven. That ball definitely turned a lot and of course was missing the leg stump and umpire has no hesitation to reject the appeal. Saklan now to Chaminda Vas. 2-3-2 two, two for 7, Sri Lanka. That's a copybook defensive stroke by Vaas. Vaas not a bad batsman, but I think the situation there uh, at the moment probably too much for the Sri Lankan tail end. So plan again. Vas tries to get him away on the onside. That's up in the air. And it's caught by Ramiz Raja, the Pakistan captain. And Sri Lanka have lost their eighth wicket. Chaminda Vas out. Caught by Ramiz Raja of Saklan Mushtaq for four. He faced 24 deliveries and was at the wicket for 27 minutes. A very well flighted ball from Saklan, pitching on the leg stump giving a little bit of air, the batsman tried to play on the onside, naturally the ball turned and took the top edge of, uh, top edge of the bat and gave an easy catch to the captain of Pakistan team. Sri Lanka now in deep trouble. Murli Dharan facing Amir Suhail, bowling left arm round with him. Tries to drive that, takes it on the pad and Moin Khan has stumped him. Amir Suhail is ecstatic. Umpire Aldridge is now walking across. There you see the Pakistani players huddled round. Third umpire has been called into action. Umpire Mia Said Shah. So the Pakistani celebration was probably a bit premature. There's the flight of delivery from Ahmed. Murli Dharan trying to drive that. He was out of his ground and stumped by Moin Khan. We'll wait for the umpire's verdict, but possibly Naseem might throw a light on that. Well, from the replay, it's quite clear that he was out. But of course, it was difficult for the umpire to judge it. And uh, he has taken the first of the umpire. And he's given out. Saklan Mushtaq rolling to Vikramasinghe. Vikramasinghe very watchful, very careful. Close infielders there. The, on the onside, the Silimidon perched perilously close. And there's the slip in your picture and the Silimidon. Saklan again. Vikramasinghe lunging forward, groping forward. Once again, Moin Khan trying to stump him. But Vikrama Singh hadn't moved out of his ground. There you see the right foot firmly planted behind the pocket crease. Pakistan would be looking for victory before the T-interval. Still some minutes to go for the T-interval, but the rule is that if nine wickets are down and the T-interval is reached, then you can play on for another half an hour or before the side is all, all out, whichever is earlier. Vikramasinghe facing Saklan.
striving hard for a victory. Tailenders at times can prove a nuisance. They hang around for far too long. That is desirable from the fielding side point. That's up in the air, caught by the captain. And it's all over. Sri Lanka are all out for 233. Vikramasinghe out, Fort Ramiz Raja, Bowl Saklan Mustaf for six, and Sri Lanka all out 233. Pakistan have won the first test match by an innings and 40 runs, 10 minutes before the scheduled T interval on the fourth test play. And that is jubilation in the Pakistan camp and among the Pakistan supporters. Very fine performance by the Pakistan. But Vaseem Raja must be very happy man on the, this is our last wicket because this is his first test match won by an inning. The team has done extremely well. They bowl well, they batted well, they feel well. And that's what you need from a good team. As far as the Sri Lanka is concerned, I think they have to rebuild up again and they have to see their shortcomings and they have to analyze. And before they come to the second test match, they must have a proper planning for the match. Let's now have a look at the Sri Lankan wickets in the second innings. Akiv is bowling to Mahanama. The score is 8 and Mahanama is out. LBW for 2 and Sri Lanka are 1 down for 8. This is Amir Sohail to Guru Sena. Tossed up. The forward prod taken by Saeed Anwar and it's 2 down for 36. These were the two wickets which fell yesterday for 36. And then there was a 50-run partnership taking the score to 86 for two. And then this morning, the first to go, Hatura Singe, caught by Saeed Anwar of Akram for 53. And it is 86 for three. Score now is 89. Akib bowling to Sanjeeva, caught behind by the wicketkeeper for 18. And four wickets are now down. This was followed by a 125-run partnership between Arjuna Ranatunga and Hishan Tilagaratna trying to salvage the situation for Sri Lanka. They battled it out until the score was 214 when the Sri Lankan captain, Arjuna Ranatunga, facing Amir Suhail, cuts in the air and well caught by Inzimam ul for 76. He scored 12 fours and it is five down for 214. Then Tilakaratna facing Wasim Akram, and he's brilliantly taken on the offside by the Pakistan captain, Ramiz Raja. And the score is 2-2-2 two, two, two for six. Sri Lanka in real trouble with Duna Singhe having an almighty go, the outside edge, and Inzimam ul Haq clutching onto it for dear life. And it is seven down for 222. Duna Singhe getting a pair. Then Vikram Singhe, the last batsman out, Thank you very much, says the Pakistan captain. I have scored a victory on my debut, and Sri Lanka are all out, losing by an innings and 40 runs. There was a presentation ceremony at the end of the match, and Wasim Akram, for his brilliant performance in the first innings and his good performance in the second, was declared the Will's man of the match. Receives its prize from the president of the Peshawar Cricket Association. One good news for Sri Lanka is that Arvinda De Silva will be available for the second test match starting in Faisalabad from the 15th of this month. So Pakistan win by an innings and 40 runs. Now the Pakistan captain Ramiz Raja being called to receive the winner's bonus. And just to refresh your memories, let us leave you with the wickets of the Pakistan's first innings on the first and second days as the Pakistani players go away into their dressing room. That is Amir Sohail, the first man to go, caught behind of Chaminda Vas. That's his partner, Saeed Anwar, after reaching his 50, comes out to drive and is brilliantly taken by the Sri Lankan captain Rana Tunga on the offside. Two wickets were down. And the third one, Ramiz Raja, late in the day on the first day, Samindawa striking again, Raja 
miscuing a pull caught by Pushpa Kumara wide of mid on and Pakistan were 235 for 3 and on the second day the fourth wicket gone at 285 Inzimam LBW to Vaas for 95 and then Ejaz the debutant at 318 caught Guru Sina of Murli Dharan for 5 340 for 6 Shoaib after scoring a good 50 caught by Rana Tunga well taken catch in the gully of Vaas then the seventh wicket went at 422 that was Wasim Akram who was brilliantly taken caught and bowled by Mutaya Murli Dharan for 36 just look at that dazzling catch then at the same total of 422 the Pakistan wicket keeper Moin Khan after making a 50 fell to Vaas as he hoiked one hard and high in the air and he was well taken by Hathura Singhe at third man and at 425 Pakistan lost their ninth wicket when Wakar Yunus facing Murli Dharan heaved him over mid wicket to be brilliantly caught by a diving Mahana the last wicket wagged and Pakistan went on to score 459 for 9 declared Sri Lanka in their two innings 186 and 233 losing by an innings and 40 runs thank you for being with us this is Ishti Mujahid saying goodbye from the Arbab Nyas Stadium in Peshawar